Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a market vlog. So I'm gonna take you along for a day at a market. We're going to a street festival tomorrow in Suffern, New York. I think it's called like Suffern Street Festival and they're expecting eight to 10,000 people. So that's a pretty good turnout. I haven't done this fair before, but I've done two hosted by the same event organizer in like relatively the same area, like 25 minutes away. We did one in Congers and then Nyack, and like I said, this one's in Suffern. So yeah, we're excited, and this is the day before the market. The market's tomorrow, and I figured I would start the vlog here because I'm not gonna have the energy <laughs> to do so at 5.30 tomorrow morning. We are leaving around 6 a.m. tomorrow to get there at about eight, and then the market starts at 10. So it's a two hour drive, so I might be sleeping for part of that. I'm also like getting over a really bad cold, if you can tell, so that's super fun. In preparation for the fair tomorrow, we just packed up the van, so I'm gonna show you clips of that and explain like what we have packed. Um, but other than that, I will see you tomorrow morning and all day tomorrow for this market. So I have two six foot tables and a 10 by 10 canopy with the weights and then a chair for Sean and me and a fold up wagon to transport things and then I have my keychains and then Sean's putting in a bin with like a lot of the smaller pop-up items and then on top of the bin are my car coasters and then here Sean's packing up the sticker display and we take all the stickers off one of the sides and put them on a different side for transportation so that the display can fit a little better and then this is the keychain display which I built in one of my videos and it's just a grid frame and some pegboards and zip ties. And then this is a garment rack for displaying my tote bags. And then tomorrow morning, we're gonna pack up the candles and my A-frame sign, and we will be good to go. Good morning, it's 6.30 and we're on our way. It's an hour and 45 minutes until we're there. And my plan for this car ride is to punch out dust covers. I have a whole bunch here that I need to punch out. And then also to do my makeup and yeah, that's it. I will see you once we get to the market. So we're driving up now to the street fair. So for all of these outdoor markets, you usually check in and then you drive up to your space. So that's how it is here as well. I've never been to one where that's not the process. So yeah, we're gonna drive up to our spot. A26 is the spot, which I think this is along just one street. Sometimes there are multiple streets, but this is like a smaller fair. Uh, no, we're going to A26. I'm not A26, sure which. A26, this side of the road, about 30 spots down. All right, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. He said about 30 spots down? Yes. Yeah. You know what we're across from or like near? Uh, the the bank. So the first thing we do is unload the vehicle and then Sean goes and parks it and then I wait for him to come back. And then once he's back, we set up the tent. Then we set up the tables and we put the tablecloths on. Then we put the stickers up on one table and then on the other table, Sean's gonna start putting the candles out and while he does that, I'm gonna put the keychains on the display grid. Then I finished setting up all of the other products, which include the tote bags, the car coasters, the large coasters, the phone grips, and then I put all my signage out.
coming back, you're coming my way. You don't know if you're here to stay, but you're coming down, you're coming my way. That golden cloud in the sunset sky, you turned the page and made it all right. The amber lights were on in my life, but you took them. You say that good things take time. Okay, so I'm all set up and here is a quick tour of my booth. First, I have all my keychains. I have dog and cat keychains. Clearly, I need more cat keychains, but I'm working on it. And then I have tote bags. I have both hand-tufted tote bags, but then I also have some vinyl heat press tote bags, which are a little less expensive. Then I have all of my stickers on this sticker display that Sean made me like a few months ago and it spins. I love it. Um, I'm trying to fill up the whole thing. Then right next to my stickers are my hand tufted phone grips and I just put those in a little bin and I let people look through them. And then I have all of my larger coasters which are also hand tufted and these did very well at this market. I sold a lot of them. And then I have my handmade car coasters which are my most popular item. It's 10.05 and the market's just starting and we have the backdrop behind us. This is actually the front of the tent. It has a door on it, but we forgot the back and we wanted it up. Why do we want it up? Just for, just for like sun protection, I think. And also when people aren't walking behind us. Yeah, so. like protecting anything that could get stolen too. Is this a meat cube? Oh my god, like Rachel McAdams in the notebook Cause I keep on staring and the whole world stops Theme song is playing just a Friday night But it feels like the start of the rest of my life The lights and cue the slow motion Camera close up on your face It's almost a little too perfect Heart Five o'clock came super quickly today and it was time to start breaking down. So I usually start by putting away my large coasters. And breaking everything down is pretty self-explanatory. I just work on putting everything back into the bins. I take my signs down and then we finish by putting the tables down and all of the larger items.
6 o'clock and we're heading back from the market. We're gonna get home around 7.30 and that was successful. It was a beautiful day, I had a great time. Although my feet are really sore, I wanna get like one of those cushion mats for future markets because my toes actually feel broken. Um, but yeah, I it's funny how at the end of these street fairs I usually get one last minute sale. So I did have someone buy a Shih Tzu. But yeah, I'm assuming I said everything I wanted to say in the voiceover. So I'm just gonna end the vlog here. I really hope you enjoyed. And if you did, be sure to subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.